Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kavanaugh's Corner. Today in the show I'm going to be talking about a movie that uh, came out recently on Criterion Collection Blu-ray. It's a movie that I was eagerly awaiting because um, I did see that this got a 4K release in Europe. And sadly that release is actually really hard to come by now. Um, even trying to get it imported. Uh, it is very expensive. And uh, I really kind of wasn't in the market for it, but when I saw this was coming to Criterion, uh, I kind of gave it a little time and waited for that Criterion sale to, to come about, which happened recently. And uh, I'm really glad that I waited because this is a phenomenal Blu-ray release uh, and I wanted to talk about it today. It's uh, one of my favorite filmmakers. Uh, this is his second film. And it's really the film that put him on the map, and that is The Elephant Man. This is the David Lynch film uh, starring John Hurt and Anthony Hopkins, also Anne Bancroft, John Gilgood. Um, I mean, just a, a whole slew of phenomenal actors and actresses, and I uh, really, really loved this movie. And uh, it's very uh, kind of a, a tough movie to watch at times, but it's, uh, it's an amazing true story. And I really love the fact that uh, we finally have this on Blu-ray, and uh, it's just, again, you know, one of these really kind of important movies to me. And uh, I'm glad that they put it on Criterion and uh, did a 4K transfer of it and everything, because um, it really is, it really is a great film. And uh, whether or not you like uh, David Lynch, to me, I, I love this guy. Uh, this guy has made some of the most perplexing and incredible films of the 20th century, and this is kind of one of them, in my opinion, even though the story is uh, very much straightforward compared to some of his other films. Uh, this is a, a really well-made, uh, really well-made film, and this uh, new set from Criterion here is also uh, a great, great uh, thing to have. Uh, it has a little uh, uh, digibook style packaging. You can see Anthony Hopkins here, and um, has a nice booklet inside with a bunch of different articles, and it's uh, it's one Blu-ray disc. Again, this is the standard Blu-ray. Uh, Criterion, sadly, has not gone to 4K, and I don't think they will um, probably anytime soon. I hope they do. Um, but for the meantime, I have to say, watching this movie for the first time in high definition, I've actually never seen this movie uh, other than on TV and on DVD in the past. Uh, this movie looks absolutely fantastic. I love the look of this film. The movie is completely in black and white and uh, this new 4K digital uh, intermediate they used for this is really stunning to look at. The movie is pristine. Um, there is some grain in the picture. It is not extremely heavy but the grain is there. Um, again, I did not see any kind of film damage or anything like that but the film looks absolutely stunning in this black and white. And uh, even though, again, there's no HDR because it's, uh, it's not a 4K disc, that, that, uh, that black and white picture really is um, very impressive. You can definitely see there are shades, um, even though it's just black and white. That black and white picture is now very balanced. Um, it's not ex overly dark. Uh, they really did a great job of balancing, um, you know, the different shades of black and uh, obviously the brightness of the film as well. And it looks great. I mean, this movie looks absolutely perfect compared to other copies of this film that I've seen in the past. Um, again, you know, I really wish we got this on 4K in America. Um, I've read a lot of great reviews of that 4K disc, but for now, the standard Blu-ray is really the way to go in terms of picture quality. I was very, very impressed with it. Transfer to 4K was actually supervised by David Lynch, and uh, I'm really glad that they did because uh, anytime any of his movies get put to Criterion or anything, um, he always kind of has a hand in it, and I'm really glad because all the movies that I've seen of his that have come to Criterion all look the best they've ever looked, and I'm really glad they involve um, the directors and sometimes the directors of photography 
um, when they do these because, you know, it really does go a long way and the director gets to kind of fulfill his vision the way that it should be seen on a uh, on a home theater, which is great. And uh, this movie is no different. This is really a stunning movie to look at. And uh, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. This movie looks really great. Um, the other thing I want to talk about is the fact that um, this movie does have a uncompressed stereo track on it. It's pretty much the original sound mix, uh, as close as to the original sound mix that they could get. Other copies of this film that I've seen in the past have had a 5.1, but I guess after some careful consideration, Lynch really wanted the original track um, on this disc to match the, you know, pretty much perfect picture that came with these uh, with these Criterion Blu-rays. So they went with just the standard stereo, but I have to say the stereo track on this is also really fantastic. Um, it, it is, you know, very clear. I didn't notice any issues with it at all. The music sounds great throughout. Um, any kind of sound effects, again, um, again, really do come through clearly. I didn't notice any problems at all with that track. It's a very simple stereo mix, um, but it is, again, basically the original stereo track that came with the movie when it went to theaters. And uh, after, you know, all these years, here we are, 40 years later after this movie came out, this came out in 1980, this movie sounds still absolutely fantastic. And as I mentioned before, it has never looked better. Um, the special features on this disc are also great. There's a, a whole full-length documentary uh, about the making of the film that I think was made back in like 2001 or so, so that's a great little feature. Um, there's a Q&A uh, with Lynch from 1981. Um, it's an audio track, but you can listen to uh, some questions and answers that he took at the American Film Institute, which is really nice. Um, there's an entire program about Joseph Merrick, uh, the real elephant man that uh, this movie is based on. Uh, that's a great little program. Uh, again, there's all the trailers and stuff like that, and again, the booklet that comes inside. So, a whole ton of special features on this disc, too. And uh, I have to say, uh, I picked this up for 20 bucks during the Criterion sale, and I couldn't have asked for a better disc. Uh, this is a great, great, very important film, and I really love this new Criterion disc. This is fantastic. I just hope in the future that we can get these in 4K soon, because I think this movie, again, uh, reading the reviews of these other 4K discs, I think Criterion would really benefit from getting 4K out there as well as just the standard Blu-ray because this movie would shine. Um, again, I watched it upscaled in 4K, so it looked great, and uh, I'm sure with HDR this movie would look even better. So thank you again for coming back to Kavanaugh's Corner. That was my review of The Elephant Man. Highly recommend you go pick it up. If you want to see more reviews like this, uh, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help the channel. And until next time, I just want to say thank you all for coming back. I wish you all the best. Please stay safe and take it easy.